In this problem, we will find the probability of the intersection of two events. The probability of A intersect B is equal to the probability of A given that event B occurred times the probability of, of event B occurring. Or the probability of A intersect B is the probability that event B occurs given that event A has already occurred times the probability of event A. Remember, the upside down U represents intersection, and anytime you see an intersection, you can substitute the word and. So if you prefer that, we have that the probability of A and B occurring is equal to the probability that A occurs given that B occurred times the probability of B occurring. Or the probability of A and B occurring is the probability that event B occurs given that A has occurred times the probability of event A. Before going any further, I want to take a look at the Venn diagram. And in the Venn diagram, look to see what the probability of A given B looks like. If I rearrange this equation right here, I find that the probability of A given B equals the probability of A intersect B divided by the probability of B. So where is A intersect B? That is this region I'm shading right now. Where is the probability of B? The probability of B is the yellow highlighted region. So the probability of A given B is the intersection of the two events divided by the probability of event B. Going back to the probability of the intersection of two events, the question I'm asking is, what happens if the events are independent? When two events, A and B, are independent, what do we know about the probability of A given B? When events A and B are independent, this probability just equals the probability of A. Event B does not influence whether A occurs or not. So back to our equation, the probability of A and B occurring equals the probability of A given B. When the events are independent, this is just the probability of A. And our equation simplifies to the probability of A and B just equals the probability of A times the probability of B when events A and B are independent. Now let's do several problems where we need to use that equation to find the probability. Suppose you are drawing cards from a standard deck of cards with replacement. We want to know what is the probability of drawing a heart on the first draw and a red card on the second draw. Anytime you're asked to find a probability, write it as a probability statement. What is the probability that, that we draw a heart on the first draw and a red card on the second draw? The first thing we should ask ourselves is, is the event of drawing cards with replacement independent events or not? Does the, what we get on our second draw of the card depend on what we got on the first draw of the card? Because after each draw, we put the card back into the deck and we reshuffle the events are independent. The, the, the second draw does not depend upon what we got on the first draw. We start with a, like we had a brand new de shuffle deck each time. Because of this, we can use the formula the probability of the intersection of two independent events equals the probability of A times the probability of B. So the probability of drawing a heart on the first draw and a red card on the second draw just equals the probability of drawing a heart on the first draw times the probability of drawing a red card on the second draw. What's the probability of drawing a heart on the first draw? Well, there are 13 hearts out of 52 cards, or 1 fourth. What's the probability of drawing a red card? There are 26 red cards out of 52. That's the same as 1 half. And we see that the probability of drawing a heart on the first draw and a red card on the second draw when we are drawing with replacement is equal to 1 eighth. What happens to the probability if instead of drawing with replacement, 
we select cards without replacement. So once we draw that first card, we do not put it back into the deck. Are the events independent now? Does the probability of your second draw depend upon what, what you got on the first draw? The answer is yes, and we no longer have independent events. And we must therefore use the formula for the probability of the intersection of two events is equal to the probability of A given B times the probability of B. Again, we want to find the probability of drawing a heart on the first draw and a red card on the second draw. Writing our probability statement, it's the probability of a heart on the first draw and a red on the second draw. Using our formula right here, this will equal the probability of getting a red on the second draw given that you got a heart on the first draw times the probability that you got a heart on the first draw. What is the probability that you get a red card on the second draw given that you got a heart on the first draw? Well, when you take your second draw, how many cards are left in the deck? 51, because after your first draw, you kept that card out. How many of the remaining 51 cards are red? Well, if your first card was a heart, that is a red card. So instead of starting the deck, so out of the 51 cards that you're starting your second draw with, 25 of them will be red cards. So the probability of drawing a red card on the second draw, given that you had a heart on the first draw, is 25 out of 51. What is the probability that you drew a heart on the first draw? We saw from the previous part that that equals 1 fourth. And the probability turns out to be 12.25 percent. So it is slightly less than if we were drawing with replacement. With replacement, it was 1 out of 8, or 12.5 percent. So the probability drops slightly. If you do not have independent events, you must use this equation for the probability of the intersection of two events. If the events are independent, you can use this equation. Let's do one last problem. June and July are the most popular months for vacationing for families in your local community. Suppose the probability that a family vacations during June is 44%. The probability that a family vacations during July is 60%, and the probability that a family vacations in June, given the family vacation during July, is 20%. We want to find the probability that a family vacations in both June and July, the intersection of the two events. Let's start with the Venn diagram. We know the probability that the family vacations during June is 44%. This entire region must be 44%. So the probability of vacationing during June is 44%. The probability that a family vacations during July is 60%. This entire region is 60%. So the probability that a family vacations during July is 60%. What additional information do we know? We know that the probability that the family vacations in June, given the family vacations during July, is 20%. So we have the probability of vacationing during June, given the vacation during July, is 20%. We are asked to find a probability. Let's write a probability statement. Find the probability that a family vacations in both June and July. So in our Venn diagram, we are looking for that region right there. Writing it as a probability statement, we want to find the probability of vacationing in June and July. Using our equation for the probability of the intersection of two events, we know that this will equal the probability of vacationing in June given the family vacations in July times the probability of vacationing in July. What is the probability of June given July? That is 20%. What's the probability of vacationing in July? That is 60%. So the probability of vacationing in both June and July is 12%. 
So using this equation, we can always find the probability of the intersection of two events, A and B. When A and B are independent, the conditional probability just becomes the probability of A, and you have the probability of the intersection of the two events equals the probability of A times the probability of B.